in today's show, we got Cooking with the Champion, winner of MasterChef Junior in his second season, and so much success has followed him. Let's get to know teen chef Logan Gula. Welcome, Logan. So glad to have a moment to sit down with you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm thank always you. itching to get out. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> so, Logan, tell me, what was the, how old were you when you first started cooking? Well, um, I really, I really think I started cooking when I was two years old, and I started with morning coffee for my mom, and then from uh -huh. there, I kind of, I, I matured, I got better, I got better, and then around eight, I, I wrote my first recipe, and that's, that's around kind of when I got eight, eight years old. Yep, I wow. wrote my own recipe. Wow. You know, from scratch, I, I went, I, I selected all the ingredients, I, I measured it all out, wrote the whole thing, and uh, I also got really good at pasta around the same time. So nice. What was the first thing you remember cooking that made a big difference to your family? Oh, um, I would say I remember this Mediterranean pork roast. Whoa! Yep, okay. yep. I did this. Uh, I did this like <laughs> feta and uh, olive mixture on the outside, and um, it's actually one of my dad's favorite things that I make. And uh, it always sticks out to me as like one of my favorites for the family. The, mm -hmm. They really love it because you know you do the pork loin, you put it on there, you and put it on the such grill. It's so beautiful. Oh, it comes out just phenomenal. It's just, you said just phenomenal. Oh yeah. So what are you doing now? Oh well, right now I'm in school. I'm in a Pepperdine University, and, nice. and I love it there. It's it's really nice. It's you know you're by the beach. There's really great seafood, really great food in California, and, and I, I like it. Are you cooking for your classmates? Uh, I, I will admit, I do cook for my roommates sometimes. You, know? you do? You know, oh yeah. And uh, I do help out around the kitchen sometimes. I'll see some guy in there and you know, he'll be utterly lost and I'll be like, you know, I'll help you out. I got you, <laughs> you know? What do they say? Oh, uh, well, you're just like, oh, thanks, Logan. And then, you know, you kind of get a little bit of a reputation as like, you know, the fixer. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, so are you pulling up in your chef coat with your knives? You kind of walking uh, in like the fixer? Like, it, it, I it depends. It depends. This meal fabulous it depends. Like, like if I, if, you know, I'm just hanging out and then I see him. It depends. I'll come up to him and I'll talk to him and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I need this. I need this. Then I'll go back to my room. I'll grab whatever I need. I'll whip it up. Boom. Done. And what do they say when they see it? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, my God. So, like, we had no idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the best things to, to learn how to make is a perfectly cooked steak. If you can get medium rare steak down, you can make anyone happy. I mean, wow. I mean anyone. Girlfriend, boyfriend, <laughs> roommate, doesn't matter. You can make anyone happy. Mom, dad, perfect. Everybody's good. good to go. Oh, yeah. I love oh, yeah. it. I love it. So what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? You think you'll have a, uh, like a I think, student I think dinner? I'm going to run a little bit special, like a, baby. Uh -huh. Run a little special, uh -huh. charge I might, them up I might a do like bit. prime rib. I might do, you know, a uh, choice of fish or beef. <laughs> do like a little set course menu. <laughs> have a, a lot of fun. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe do some underground suppers, you know, kind of. I don't know nice. yet, but we'll see. So tell me, what was it like winning? Let's just, we're going to travel back Oh, yeah. We're going back. We're going to roll it back a little bit. What was it like winning Master Chef? Well, um, it was really incredible. It was it was a magical experience, and I learned a lot on the show, and, and I really uh, I really explored a lot of cooking, and I learned a lot about standards and you know putting out food that you're happy with. And, Absolutely. And one of the biggest things is you know if you're putting out food that you're not happy with, you shouldn't be putting it out. You know, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you yourself like look at it and you go like, eh, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. That's when you know you should stop. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy like the research and development, the fun stuff, the mm -hmm. new flavors, the new dishes, mm -hmm. you know, just exploring Missing flavor. Up, yeah. uh, I do I do enjoy competition cooking. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I do enjoy really? it. I, I do enjoy it. Were you timing yourself at home to prepare for the Master Chef? Yeah, I, I, had a, I had a little bit of a strict training <laughs> regimen. I'll be honest, I did. Uh, one of my biggest things was uh, I actually boiled uh, like a live crab because I thought, oh my God, what's like the biggest test yeah. that they're going to throw at us? And, and it'd be like, you know, to to like cook live seafood and I was yes. like, oh my God, what's going to happen? <laughs> well, what's going to happen if the live seafood comes out? What am I going to do? And so I was like, well, I got to, I got to like mentally get there. I got to physically get there and I got to perfectly cook this crab. And so I was like, boom. So that was one of my biggest training blocks was cooking a, cooking a crab. And I was like, uh, I think it worked. I, I think it helped. But I said, listen, thanks so much for stopping by Logan. See you guys in a minute. Bluff City Life continues when we return.